tennis player Eugenie Bouchard hit the headlines a few years back after losing an internet bet with the fan. The Canadian starlet had claimed that the Atlanta Falcons would best the Patriots in the 2017 Super Bowl, but a fan called her out and bet her a date that her prediction wouldn't come true. Today, we are discussing a potential movie about the incident, plus what it would take to win her heart. Stay tuned. Let's get straight into it then. What exactly happened? Well, Jeannie took to Twitter back in 2017 in the halftime interval of Super Bowl 51, which was taking place between the Falcons and the Patriots, tweeting her prediction for how the showpiece event would finish. The 2014 Australian Open and Wimbledon finalist tipped the Falcons to get the job done, but one fan, John Gerke, didn't quite agree with Jeannie's prediction and tweeted back, if Patriots win, we go on a date? Of course, Bouchard had tweeted when the Georgia team were already 21-3 to to the good, claiming that she knew Atlanta would win, which prompted the cheeky request from Gerke. She was so confident that the Patriots were dead and buried that she quickly agreed to the request, simply replying, sure. After the Patriots were incredibly able to turn it around, Jeannie jumped back on Twitter to ask Gerke where he lived. I mean, he probably expected her to go radio silent, but she was anything but. Bouchard revealed that she had little choice but to honor the bet, saying, after all the media attention it got, it was something I could, first of all, not back out of. There was no chance. The pair would meet up shortly after to attend a Brooklyn Nets versus Milwaukee Bucks game, with the Wisconsin outfit being 129 to 125 winners. A story as crazy as it is cool. What did you guys make of this at the time? So what about this movie talk then? Let's see. Well, there has been some talk over the past few years that a movie of the real life incident is set to be made and Jeannie has been discussing who she would like to play her if it actually does come to fruition. Fans of the tennis beauty were stunned back in 2017 as she actually followed up on the bet, which she referenced in a recent interview with Golf Mostly. Explaining how it had come about, Jeannie told the story of possibly the best Super Bowl win of all time. She also revealed how her date was this lovely young boy from Missouri, who she took to a basketball game. The conversation then quickly turned to who might play her should a movie get made, to which she replied, I would go with Margot Robbie or Blake Lively. Only two of the hottest properties in Hollywood then, Robbie is one of the most desired women of all time and has starred in movies such as The Wolf of Wall Street and I, Tanya. and Lively isn't too far behind her in the beauty stakes. Ryan Reynolds' other half is best known for her role in Gossip Girl. Bouchard later revealed that her agent received an email from a producer and a writer from LA and they said we read about your story and we think it's amazing and we'd like to shop it around to different studios and then turn it into a movie. Would you guys go watch? What else did she have to say then? Well, it's safe to say that Bouchard's tennis career kind of peaked in her early days. 2014 was undoubtedly her most successful year as she qualified for the semifinals of both the Australian and the French, whilst also reaching the final of Wimbledon. But her her career could be about to take an unexpected turn. As she has revealed, she is now an executive producer on the film. She said, They sent me like a draft, like loosely based on the real story. Fox 2000 ended up buying it, and so now I'm like executive producer, and it's in the works, and this is all because of a tweet. I mean, wow. Bouchard then explained that she has been to a ton of meetings about the film, adding that she has been involved in in the process since the start, and also added that the movie producers wanted her take on it to make it as realistic as possible, and it might even be closer than we think to happening, as Jeannie also revealed that there is actually a script. Apparently, movie bosses are currently looking at actors to bring in for the film, and Bouchard finished by saying, I can't believe this is real. They want to make a movie about something that happened to me. I'm just in shock. 
What is the best sports film in your opinion? Let us know below. So what about the criteria to win her heart? Bouchard is undoubtedly one of the best looking women on the tour and as such has lesions of adoring fans. But what does she look for in a guy? Discussing this very issue last week, the Canadian beauty admitted that she would probably shy away from dating someone from within the world of tennis, reasoning, because it would just be so much tennis, I feel like nonstop. I'm sure the single guys on the tour will be pretty heartbroken right about now. Of course, her reasons are understandable. As someone who eats, sleeps, and breathes tennis during her office hours, she probably doesn't then want to spend and her evenings discussing the sport too. She did admit that dating a male tennis player would be cool as they would be able to relate to her, but she then suggested that dating someone outside the tennis world would be like her relationship with her friends, who are mostly out of tennis, suggesting that at the end of the day, she likes to talk about totally different stuff than tennis. She did concede that she would still like her match to be athletic, describing that scenario as ideal. Of course, Course, Jeannie split with Steelers QB Mason Rudolph earlier this year, which should give you all some sort of idea as to her type. Sorry for ruining the dream, you guys. Who is your favorite female athlete right now? What else did Jeannie have to say then? Well, like most women, Jeannie admits to being attracted to confident men, but also men who are respectful in equal measure. The tennis star described a confident man as very attractive, but also revealed that high on her list is also a man who can make her laugh. As she suggested, personality matters. She then went on to give everyone an untimely reminder that eventually looks fade. So if this person is going to be around long term, they better be able to make you laugh and should be easy to be around, similar to a friend. Jeannie has been out injured for some time following shoulder surgery last year, but is ready to resume her tennis career. However, she also revealed that not constantly traveling for work has been nice of late, saying she has been able to live a somewhat normal life, going on dates, which would otherwise be pretty difficult when she's on tour. She finished by giving fans a glimpse into what the near future holds for Jeannie Bouchard, saying, Now look, I'm going to be on the road for a month and just going to be in my room doing room service, hanging out with my coach, so that's what I'm foreseeing for the next month. We're sure there would be plenty of guys who would say settle for a date every now and again, Jeannie. And finally, what does she expect in the looks department? With all this talk of dating, you're probably wondering what Jeannie's dream man looks like, right? Well, don't worry, we've got you. She recently dropped by to the Golf Mostly podcast with Michelle Wee West and Hallie Ledbetter, who asked her to describe the man of her dreams. She revealed that her first instinct is like tall, dark, and handsome, then added that she expects a decent cheekbone structure and medium length hair, which is all pretty cliche so far, if truth be told. Jeannie then suggested that her man has to have nice, thick eyebrows and full lips, which is beginning to sound more like a Ken doll than anyone we know, describing her Mr. Right as brooding and mysterious. She then added that he doesn't smile a lot and under no circumstances should he have a butt chin, admitting that a little bit of scruff is nice in the facial hair department a revelation which prompted a cheeky smile from our tennis star. She went on to say that he should have dainty ears and forehead, an adjective she used more than once when describing this imaginary hero. The podcasters actually had an artist on hand to draw her dream guy, who ended up producing something more like Michael Myers from Halloween in our opinion. Did you guys see the video? Let us know what you thought below. As usual, thanks for dropping in in on us today and remember to swing by again next time for some more fun and games and why not do us a big favor by liking and sharing today's video whilst also subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on more great bits in the future bye guys